Okay, so this video is about um, binary search trees. What are they? Why do we have them? What's uh, their limitations? And um, really, well, their advantages also. And um, they do have limitations, so that brings us to an improved binary search tree called uh, a height balanced one tree, or in particular, there, there's one particular height balanced one tree that I like, uh, um, called the AVL tree. All right, so the basic idea with a binary search tree is they uh, uh, each node has a ma up to two children, so a maximum of two children, and the children have the what we call the semantic property uh, that they're organized in a particular way. Um, for a bi binary search tree, what that is, that organization is, or that semantic rule is, for any node, the nodes on the left are smaller than that node, and the nodes on the right are bigger than that node. So, like, and that's true for every node. So, for this node here, 10, all the nodes on the left are smaller, 5, 2, and 7 are all smaller than 10. And likewise, for node 10, all the nodes on the right are bigger, 20, 15, and 25 are all bigger. And that semantic rule applies for all all for every node so 20 um, this is all the nodes on the left are smaller than 20 and all the nodes on the right are bigger than 20 and likewise five you know two is smaller and seven is bigger all right so the reason that we like these is that they're efficient to search because you, you basically never have to travel more than the height of the tree so for example let's say we were looking for node 15 you you would start here you always start here at the root and 15 is bigger than 10, so you move that way. And now you're looking at 20, and 15 is smaller than 20, so you move that way and you found it. So we only had to look at uh, 10, 20, and 15. We only had to look at three nodes, or really, we only had to travel the height of the tree. So that's super efficient because the number of nodes in a in a uh, binary tree is is uh, almost or it's a proport. It's approximately two to the height of the tree. So, like this is a three a tree that's three high, and it has uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. Eight. So, I mean, it's it would be two to the uh, three would be eight. Uh, and this has seven, so it's it's almost uh, it's almost exactly two two to the h. Uh, so, a search operation is the inverse of this. So. The, basically, the height of the tree is log base 2 of n. So, um, you know, you can have a really big n, and uh, the height is not going to be that. It's not going to be that uh, that big. So, that's great, and we love that, but the problem with that is that we often have no control over the order in which the keys, uh, that is the data we're putting into the tree, appear. So let's, for example, let's say we had this sequence that that, sh that showed up. Then the resulting tree would be uh, would be this. And to to f to do like a search on um, a search on nine, we would have to look. We'd start here and we go bigger, 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 bigger. We'd look at every note. So uh, the search fu function in this instance for this particular this particular data set it's going to be big O of of, uh, of n, whereas if it's fully filled, then the uh, a search is big O of uh, of log base two n. So we we want to keep the the tree fully filled, right? Uh, so what we need to, to do is that as the data shows up, we need to continually rebalance the tree so that it's uh, it's never getting longer on one branch than it is on the other the other side. So uh, that's called height balanced, and the one means that no for any given node, uh, one one branch is no longer is no. Um, there's not any 
bigger than uh, than one more than the other than the other than the other side. So this one here, this one is like two, and this is one. So if, if this got longer, we would have to. This would be two two longer than this side, and we would have to rebalance that. All right. So so for example, let's say uh, the sequence, the insertion sequence were one, three, and five, but now we're doing uh, we're doing height balanced. Then you do you know so you one comes along, you put him in there. Three comes along there, and and right now it's just we can't get it better the balance than this. So how how balanced is it? Well, you compare the left and the right. Uh, so here for this node, the left, the longest branch on the left is zero long, and the longest branch on the right is one long. So it's it's heavier on the uh, on the right by by one, and you can't fix that if you moved. You know, if you made it, if you made it three and one, it's still it's not any better. So then uh, we do another insertion. So five comes along, we insert that. Now for this node, the left branch is zero long, and the right branch is too long. It's two elements, two nodes long. So you know, zero minus two is is uh, is minus two. It's it's longer by by two. On on the right, so we could we could rebalance that, or what's called a rotation, or sometimes it's called a pivot. But for this particular tree, one pivot we could do is is this. Okay, so we so we still have a height balance tree that obeys our our rule of uh, you know smaller on the this side and bigger on that side, but both branches are the same length. Okay, so the, the, and you could continue in that fashion. So like, say seven came along, you would put a, the seven here. And then it's, it's right now we can't improve this because like say, take this node three, node three here. So the, the uh, left branch is one long and the right branch is two long. So it's longer on this side by one. And we can't really make that any better, but Let's add another one. Let's add a nine. Okay, now it's this branch is one long, and this branch is three long, so it's longer on this side by two. We can improve that, right? So we can do a rotation uh, and turn it into turn it into this thing. Okay, so uh, this is as balanced as we can get it at, for now. So. We can check it. So for any node, like this node, this longest branch on the left is one long. The longest branch on the right is two long. Either either this branch is too long is has a length of two, and or this branch has a length of two. So the longest branch on the on the on the right is is has a length of two, and the longest branch on the left has a length of one. So it's un, unbalanced. Node three is unbalanced by one. It's longer on the, you know, on the uh, on the on the right by by one, a length of one. So we can't improve that. So that's the basic idea: is you co continually, as data shows up, you continually do a series of rotation operations to keep the tree from getting heavier on one side than the other. And now what we need is a is a more organized way to do this. We need a set of rules that will let us do this, you know, cleanly and uh, organized, you know, like a computer so we could code it. Okay. So that's, that's the next video I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to show you the rules for an AVL tree and then I'll do a ser series of, insert of insertion operations and rebalancing and show you how that works. Okay.